Hi everyone and welcome. We're Kadara Starning Day today and I just want to do just a fairly short segment on the continuation of what to do with the styling little ring that I mentioned during our last segment. And basically this can be used preferably on the Kadara, but you can put it on a shirt, an oversized dress, whatever, to just create a little bit of drape and just a little bit of interest in what you're wearing. So just to rehash very briefly, this is a Kadara dress, but I'm just going to use it like a fabric. Wherever you want the drape to be, if you want the drape drawn up to the side, onto the hip, into the center, wherever, you just place the ring on the outside of the garment and then you turn the garment inside out. So you turn it inside out, you've got this little ring effect at the top, like a little top knot. Then you take a hair tie or a rubber band and you twist that around, but make sure you do it enough so that you don't end up with a little belly button. In other words, when you turn it over, you've got it all like a beautiful little drape that all draws in over the circle. If you don't do it tight enough, there'll be a hole in the middle. So that's basically how we do it. Now I'll put that to one side and then I'm just going to talk about how I'm wearing it now. First and foremost, and I hope this works because I've just lost it out of my bra, I've decided because um, I'm fairly heavy chested, I find sometimes, and you may all find it as well, that the Kadara strap attached to your garment may not, they're not there to give support, but you're looking at a stretch fabric in your um, strap against a stretch fabric in your Kadara dress. So I'm hooking it now to a strapless bra and I just feel, I just feel a little bit more secure. And it means that if I want to pull my Kadara down into a skirt, I can, or however I want to style it, the straps are where they are and they're kind of fixed. So just a little tip, when you're putting the straps, don't attach it to the dress, attach it to a strapless bra, gives your bra a nice little uplift and it adds that little bit more security in regards to the straps. Now, getting back to the fullness of the bust, you know how we put the Kadara belt on with the buckle in the centre, and I always say tweak it out so you get a nice little bit of a, a, a ruched shape. I'm now achieving that by using the ring. But what I've done is I've used two rings, and for modesty I can't show you totally, but I've got one at the top, and I've allowed enough space when it's finished that the elastic is still above it so that it sits flat. And then I've placed another one probably two centimeters away so that they're in line like a figure eight. So I've got two of the little rings positioned and I hope you can see how beautifully that kind of ruches up and I've got two little draped effects at the front. And that to me has minimized my bust. It's taken away that bare effect of the bodice and it's just added a little bit of difference. Same, same. But different. So that's the first look I'm showing you today but I've got another two that I want to show you so stay tuned and I'll be back. It's a warm day here I've got the shoes off at the moment and this is my favorite way to wear my Kadara on a hot day because it doesn't touch me anywhere and how I achieve it I take the bodice I roll it over and I form what I call my little baby doll. Now that as a look is always cute, but what I've done this time is I've put the styling ring, I've fed it through as I've explained to you before, and I've created just that cute little drape at the top here. Just adding a little bit of interest, not necessary. I'm just adding that extra value if you're interested in, in just creating a slightly different look. But I have to tell you, this is so cool and comfortable because it doesn't touch you anywhere. And if you're not overly well endowed, you can even go without a bra because that ruching effect at the front works really well and it's really, really comfortable. And again, I have put my straps into the actual bra rather than into the garment because I can't do it when it's, um, when it's meant to be attached to the garment because the garment's been folded away from it. So that's a little tip. Remember, you'll get the straps when you buy your Kadara, attach them to the actual loops of a strapless bra rather than into the loops of the dress. You can do either, but to me, it's easy when you're converting because I can pull that down into a skirt now and I haven't got to worry about where the straps are going because they're already attached and put a t-shirt over the top, whatever. But remember, all you need to create these little loopy styles 
And I've got another one to show you in a moment, is a hair tie and the styling ring. And this will shortly be available to you on our website. So wait for one more look, okay? Okay, my final little look for the day using the styling ring. Now, where is the styling ring? We've all found it. Where's Wally? Right here. Okay, and remember, you have to make sure that when you are using the styling ring and you have your rubber band or your hair tie, do it tight enough so that when you have finished the loop, you haven't got a bullseye because unless it's tight, you'll see like a little a little bullseye in the middle and you don't want that. So what I've done this time, I actually laid my kadar on the ground. I worked out where I wanted the drape to be and I did my little um, ring on the outside of the garment and then I tied it off nicely with my little hair tie and I repeated the same thing at the back. Can you see that? So I'm kind of draped front and back. You know, that's just me being silly probably, but I quite like the effect of it. So you can kind of do whatever you like with this little ring, but remember, it's not replacing our fabulous styling buckle. And you remember how easy it is. See, my issue is that because I'm vertically challenged and because Kadara is made to a certain length to accommodate all figure shapes, I sometimes think, oh, I've got to hitch it because I'm a little bit short. So when I'm using my styling buckle, I, the way I use it the most is to just drape the sleeve through the actual buckle itself and hitch it up to where I want it to be. It's gonna look a bit odd now because I've got the ring on at the same time, but that gives me a little bit of leg and takes up the length. Well, it's quite okay the way I've got it now because you've got that double drape, but just a little styling ring can be enough just to lift it those few inches to just give you a little bit more ankle exposure rather than right to the ground. So everything in Kadara is for a reason and every style is to benefit depending on your figure shape and how you like to wear it. But one little tip with the ring, now it's hard plastic. You've got Kadara is a very, um, it doesn't cling, but it is a beautifully draped fabric with quite an amount of stretch. Once you've had that ring on there and you've stretched it with the, um, the rubber band, it really is pulling those fibers out quite a bit. So you're actually stretching the fabric. Don't worry about it. When you remove the, the ring, you will have um, an imprint on the garment where it's been stretched and tortured. Two things to do, or well, two options. One is to just hold that area out, get the hairdryer on it, give it a bit of a rub, hairdryer again, the heat of the hairdryer, all the fibres will just spring back. Or if you want to leave the ring in for some time, just throw it all in the washing machine. I've, I've, I try and test everything before I recommend it and I found that the hair dryer on that, concentrating on that spot really does work. So when you're traveling and you're taking your little styling ring with you and you want to achieve these styles, don't panic. There's a hair dryer in every, hair, in every hotel that you're staying in. Just take it out overnight and then hair dry it in the morning and you'll find it'll bounce back to new. But they're just some little tips. So just rehashing, we've done it before when I was wearing it in the orange. We did the hair and pants style to create the, the full on hair and pant by allowing this to become the, uh, the secret to get the drape and to get everything to sit quite nicely. You can have it over on the side. The last little one I showed you, I had one after the other. So I had two here to get that draping effect. Now we've got it front and back and we also had it in the baby doll. So it's just a variation on the theme that is Kadara. And we all know it is not what Kadara is, but what Kadara does that makes it stand out. So until next time, happy Kadaring. Bye.